Chapter 1, Lesson 8, Slope. Today you will be able to identify slope using tables and graphs. Slope is the rate of change between any two points on a line. In a linear relationship, the vertical change, or the change in the y value, per unit of horizontal change, or the change in the x value, is always the same. This ratio is called the slope of the function. The constant rate of change, or unit rate, is the same as the slope of the related linear relationship. So we have slope equals the change in y, which is vertical, up and down, over the change in x, which is horizontal, or left and right. Looking at this graph, our up and down, we go up 2, right 1, up 2, right 1. So our slope is positive 2 over positive 1, which can be reduced to 2. But something I want you to get in the habit of doing is to, and write this on your paper, leave slope as fraction even if it's improper. So even if your fraction is improper, I want you to leave it that way. The reason will appear later in one of our later lessons. So the slope tells how steep the line is. The vertical change is sometimes called the rise while the horizontal change is called the run. You can say that slope equals rise over run. Count the number of units that make up the rise of the line in the graph shown to the right. So it goes from 1 all the way up to 4. So the rise is 4. Write the number for the numerator of the fraction to the right, not below. Count the number of units that make up the run of the line and write this number for the denominator of the fraction to the right. So the run goes from 1 all the way to 3. So our run is 2. And actually, looking back, I made a slight mistake. Our rise, it goes from 1 to 4, but it's only 3. 1, 2, 3. So it's actually 3 over 2. Our rise over run is up 3, right 2. So it's like a direction to get from one point to the next. We go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and then we go right 2. So our slope is 3 over 2. Yes, I want it as a fraction, and yes, it's okay that it's improper. The table below shows the relationship between the number of seconds, y, it takes to hear thunder after a lightning strike, and the miles, x, that you are away from the lightning. Graph the data to find the slope, explain what the slope represents. So we have zero miles and zero seconds, one mile and five seconds, ten mile, or two miles and ten seconds, three miles and fifteen seconds, four miles and twenty seconds, and five miles and twenty-five seconds. And I actually would like you to draw a line, please use a ruler. We'll see how well this works here. Not too bad. So there's our line. Now explain what the slope represents. Well, we need to find slope by rise over run. Use any two points that you just graphed. So let's highlight a couple. Here's one. There's one right there and one right there. Use those two points. Okay. I went, my rise is from 5 to 10. So rise over run. The rise was 5. And the run, I went from 1 to 2 or 1. 
So my slope is 5 over 1. When it's over 1, you can rewrite it as 5, or you can leave it as 5 over 1, whichever you prefer. So either or. The 5 over 1 will come in handy later, but as long as you remember that any whole number is always over 1 in fraction form, we're good to go. And that's it. Oh, and explain what the slope represents. Now this one's a little tricky because we're talking about lightning, so the wording may be a little weird. So let me do this first one here. For every five seconds between, basically between lightning and thunder, There is one mile between you and the strike, the lightning strike. So that's the other part of our answer. Letter B. Graph the data about plant height for a science fair project. Then find the slope of the line, explain what the slope represents. Now be careful, we have decimals in this one. So week one, plant height 1.5. Week one and 1.5. Week two is three. Week three is 4.5. And week four is six. Now remember, my points will be a little bit off just because of the technology I'm using but try and get them on as best as you can. Now, when you draw your line, or go ahead and draw your line, and again, my points are slightly off because of how I'm writing these notes, okay? So we've got a point here, 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 and here. So pick any two points to do the rise over run. I'll just go, I like to go, I don't like using decimal points, so I'm actually gonna go from this point to this point, okay? Because I don't wanna use a point that's in between. You can, but then you're going to have to, um, you're gonna have to do more work in the end if you do it that way. So pick whole numbers if you can. So our rise, we go from three to six. So we have rise over run. Our rise is up three. I went up one, two, three. And our run, one, two. And these are all counting by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we're good. Our rise over run is three over two. And we can leave it just like that, even if it's improper. Then it says to explain what the slope represents. This one's a little bit easier. It's like when we were writing out what rates meant. So this would be the plant grows three centimeters every two weeks. Our rise represents the centimeters, and our run represents the week. So this would be three centimeters in two weeks. Letter C. Ronaldo opened a savings account. Each week he deposits $300. Draw a graph of the account balance versus time. Find the numerical value of slope and interpret it in words. So at zero weeks, he has zero dollars in his savings account. At one week, he has 300. At two weeks, 600. Three weeks, um, 900. Four weeks, 12. Five weeks, 1500. Six weeks, 18. We could keep going. Um, seven weeks would be 2100. And eight weeks would be 2400. Draw your line. So pick any two points to use. I'll use this one. 
and this one. So actually, we'll draw it in a pen here so it's easily seen. Okay. Now, I need to find rise over run. The rise. I'm going up one block, but not one unit. If this is 600 and this is 1,200, halfway between would be 900. So I'm going from 600 to 900, which would make our rise 300 over our run. It's going one block. But our blocks do count by ones. This would be a three. Okay. So this would be 300 over one, which means our slope is 300. And what this means is the account balance rises. Three hundred dollars every week. Letter D. Jessica has a balance of forty dollars on her cell phone account. She adds ten dollars each week for the next four weeks. Graph the account balance versus time, find the numerical value of the slope, and interpret it in words. So she has a balance of forty. That means at zero weeks, she's starting with $40. And she adds 10 every time. Well, 40 plus 10 would be 50, which would be halfway. 50 plus 10 is 60. Then 70. Then 80. Then 90. And so on. Draw your line, connecting your dots. Okay. And I'm going to pick two points. This time, again, I like to pick them at intersections. I'll pick that one and this one. We're finding rise over run. Our rise goes from 60 to 80, looking over here, which means our rise is 20. And our run goes from 2 to 4. From 2 to 4 is 2. This reduces to 10 over 1, or just 10. Our slope is 10, and this means that Jessica deposits $10 every week.